me right now. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a Q&A. I asked um, everyone on my Instagram, my personal Facebook, my Snapchat to send me some questions that they had for me. Um, it could have been any questions, it didn't really matter. I really want to do a Q&A so you guys can get to know me. So yeah, let's get started. I have my questions on my phone, so I'm going to read off of them. I put them in my notes. Um, as people were sending them in, I was just typing them into my notes. So I'm going to go down the list and I'm going to try to um, do this all off the top of my head. I have all the questions right here. Thank you everyone who participated and sent me some questions. So let's get started into the first question is, what is your favorite go-to makeup look? I like doing my makeup more than I like doing my hair. So I like a full glam. I just, and that's when I go out. So that's what I prefer, full glam. How many best friends do you have? Uh, that's a good question. Let me see. In reality, I would say I have maybe three best friends. My husband, of course, is my best friend. Um, but as far as like girlfriends, it's really hard to find um, best friends, like just one. A best friend to me is someone I'm with all the time. Like if I'm with you on the weekends, if I'm texting you throughout the week and like we're just constantly talking about dumb shit, like it doesn't even matter what it's about. If I can text you and just be like, girl this I look I look into a person and I see what 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 difference is from my other friends so say I have two best friends and this best friend is my best friend for one reason and this other best friend is my best friend for another reason um, so yeah I you know I feel like that's always been an issue in my life is how many best friends do I have but really I don't give a fuck how many best friends I have I can have one best friend two best friends I can have ten best friends if you are my click if you are my like people that I just chill with bitch you're my best friend actually I have like three best friends do you love your mom or your dad more do you love your mom or your dad more um no, I love my mom and my dad equally. Um, I love the presence of them. I love them being around me. And who can, yeah, I mean, I guess everyone's different. You know, either you have your mom or you have your dad or you are closer to one, you know, one or the other. But I feel like I just love my parents. Who is your favorite sibling? Um, those that don't know me, uh, I have three siblings. I have an older brother, I have a little sister, and I have a little brother. Um, I don't have a favorite sibling. They all, they all have a special place in my heart. Each of them, they're so different, but so the same. I think we're all so different, but so the same. Each of them has a specific thing about them that I love and that I hold close to me. Um, they all can make me laugh, so that is like a plus because I love to laugh so I don't have a favorite sibling no would you move back to California I would love to move back to California that is the only place that I would ever want to move um, my whole entire family's there I live in Arizona it's so far and um, yeah, I would definitely love to move back to California. If it was God's will, then take me there. Are you having more babies? Um, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Right now, in my head, I think I want one more only because I have two boys will I ever know how my daughter looks like it makes me want to have another one but because I feel like I'm going to just have another boy it scares me I just like want one more and three that's it like done who broke my microwave when we lived in surprise I do not know who broke your microwave when we lived in surprise I 
swear on everything. I literally have no clue who broke that microwave. Long story short, my parents used to live in Surprise and they went out of town one day and I supposedly came back and their microwave was broken, the handle or something like that, the top or the handle. And my mom thinks we had like a huge house party and somebody broke the microwave. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. And if somebody else did it and had a house party, I was not involved. So I have no clue. Have you ever been mad at someone and never told them? The specific person that asked me that question, no, I think, I think you know when I'm mad at you. <laughs> so yeah. But other than that, have I ever been mad at someone and never told them? Yes, I have been mad at somebody and never told them because I'm the type of person that I will, I don't like holding grudges. So I just either, it depends how big it is. If it's really big, then no, I got to talk about it because I'm that just I'm just that type of person like if you make me so mad and I really care about you then I want to talk about the issue if I don't it's not a big deal I'm just like whatever get through it get past it who cares who has it worse moms or dads um, I definitely think moms have it harder dads I guess it just depends how involved you are and how much you help sorry do you have plans on coming back to California to visit anytime soon? Our plans, as of right now, my goal is to go for Thanksgiving. I would really like to be with my family during the holidays, every holiday if I could, but since my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving, because of the food, I'm going to try to make it down there and I hope I can see everybody. I'm going to Sacramento to my mom's house so I don't know what they have planned like if we're going to be heading into um, Merced or if we're going to just stay in, Sac in Elk Grove but um, yeah my plans are to go in November for Thanksgiving. What is your favorite season? Um, my favorite season would be uh, spring, summer. I like when it's warm. I hate being cold. It literally aches my body when I'm cold. Don't like it. If you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? If it was a good amount of money, I would definitely pay off all my debt. Um, obviously, as a, as a married couple, all of our debt, whatever we had, pay off our house, pay off our parents' houses. Um, cars, anything that we owe, just to be responsible with it. And then if we have extra stuff, I would just buy really nice things for my kids and for us. So yeah, I'd probably go out to eat a lot because I like food. Why did you move from California to Arizona? I moved to Arizona when I was 16 years old, so I didn't have a choice. I moved from California to Nevada to Arizona um, my dad's job my dad's job anytime he wants to move up anytime he goes into a higher position he applies for the job wherever the location is if he gets it we pack up we move plain and simple that's how I got in Arizona because my dad's job and I ended up staying here because I fell in love and that's what you do for love you stick it out what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. 100%. I love purple. Oddly enough, I don't own anything purple though. So that's really weird. But I love the color. Most embarrassing moment. Oh, Jesus. Uh, most embarrassing moment. Like, sober? Oh my God, no. Well, there was really nobody around when this happened except for one friend and then like a group of random guys. Um, my bachelorette party, I was walking down the stairs and my and it was raining and I had heels on and I had a bowl of chips because I was going to my husband's room to go take him chips. And, um, <laughs> and uh, there was a group of guys coming up the stairs so I like moved to the side so they can get through. And my hand slipped on the rail because it was wet. Well, I went too fast to go put my foot down and my heel got caught on the step. So I literally like, t 
tumbled down the stairs, busted my head open. I was bleeding all over my white bachelorette dress. I didn't go to the hospital because my friends were like, it's not that serious, blah, blah, blah. But I ended up going to the hospital like a week later because I felt like really lightheaded at work and I thought that's what it was from. So they took an x-ray and everything and everything looked fine. They just said I had a bump on my head. I still have a bump right there and it's still really sensitive if I poke it. So yeah, that's really embarrassing. Um, yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> if you could rename anyone in your family, who would it be and what would their name be? Um, I really don't even know. Um, I don't know. I think I would just rename myself. Well, not even. I don't think I would rename any of us. Like, we are just who we are. Like, Sabrina is Sabrina. I'm Monique. Marcos is Marcos and Juan is Juan. Like, I don't even call Juan Juan. I call him pal. But, like, I... That's just who we are. I can't picture them having another name. So I don't think I would rename any of us. Oh, and my mom and dad. Like, that, that's their names is mom and dad they don't have names if you could take back any moment in your life what would it be as far as a moment that I would love to relive would be um, my the birth of my first son I would love to go back to that and just do everything different and remember it because a lot of it was just blurry and I fell asleep and I just wish I could go back to that moment and remember more. Have you ever cut your hair short? Yes. That's the reason why my hair is so long because I traumatized myself. <laughs> so short. I liked it for a little bit, but then I just, I don't know, I couldn't do it. So yes, I have cut my hair short. That is the reason why my hair is so long because I I don't have the balls to cut it again. What are your hair growth secrets? Um, to be honest, I do not have any hair growth secrets. This is just how my hair grows. Um, I, I guess my mom, I mean, it's not a secret, but my mom, if she, when my mom cuts my hair or cuts anybody's hair, it grows really fast. So... I just like whenever my mom comes down I ask her hey can you trim my hair can you put layers in it and it'll just grow and it looks healthy but I don't use anything special I don't take like any kind of vitamins um, actually after I had my son my hair started falling out and I really hate it because um, I, it's what postpartum hair loss so yeah I feel like my hair got thinner and I just can't wait until it starts growing back what high-end and drugstore makeup do I recommend um, high end, I love Anastasia Beverly Hill. Drugstore, I love right now is the the Maybelline um, foundation. I'm really living for that right now. And there's a couple of beauty sponges that I have found. I forgot what brand they were. I'll figure that out and let you guys know. When's the last time you smoked weed? Um, for one, I am not big on smoking weed. Um, I'll be honest, I have smoked weed before. It gets me very paranoid. So it's not for me. I have tried it, yes. Um, it's not for me. I want to say the last time I smoked weed was probably going on four years. Maybe three years. I want to say three years ago. Um... Yeah. Was it hard starting over with a new baby after so many years? For those that don't know, I have a 10 year old, was born March 2008, and I have a four month old, soon to be five month old, that was born March 2018. Yes, it was very hard starting over. I did not think it was gonna be hard. I thought this new baby was gonna be just like my son. My, my firstborn was so easy, but a lot of people say it was so easy because I had my mom and dad around, which is true, but personality-wise, is they're so different. Like, my son was just such a laid-back, like, happy baby. Yeah, he screamed, he cried, whatever, but it wasn't 
as intense as my new baby. Uh, not trying to diss my new baby, but he's a crybaby. But I love him so much. I love both my sons so much. It, yes, it was definitely hard starting over. What is your best memory you have living in Oceanside, California? Living in Oceanside, I feel like we moved so much. I don't even remember what was Oceanside, what was San Diego, anything like that. So um, I would say something that I remember, I think this was in Oceanside. I remember going on a bike ride with my dad when I was little at this lake. It was called Guahomi Lake. I don't know if that's Oceanside or not, but I always remember that. Like that's something that I hold like in my memory and I just, I had the best time. I just remember being, riding my bike behind my dad and just being like, this is so awesome. And it was just me and him. So yeah, it was fun. I liked it. I thought it was really special. What is your fitness goal? My fitness goal is to look bomb as fuck. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm not. My dream goal would be to like be 130, 135. I think now would be like 140, 145 would be my goal. That would be my weight, my fitness goal. When did you know it was time to cut off your baby daddy? He did that to himself. So, but actually like leaving him um, my son was five months old and we had gotten to a huge fight, like a huge fight. And it was over rent money and weed, um, to the point the cops were called. Um, let's just say I'm happy I'm alive and yeah, story time. Besides makeup, what is your hobby? I like going to the gym. Like, even though I hate going to the gym, I hate the pain, I hate doing it, but when I leave, I love how I feel. Like, I love just the energy it gives me, and I love that it's a process. You know, you go to the gym, and it just feels good. Um, I don't even want to read this next question. It's going to make me cry. <sighs> Is it hard being away from your parents? As you can tell, yes, it's hard. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely hard. It's hard. <laughs> How many pets do you own now? I used to have, I think, like 25 pets. They were all different. Well, like a couple of them were like little smaller ones. Let me name them. Okay, so my dogs. I have four dogs. I have... Peanut, she's the oldest. Then I have Oki, he's a little chihuahua. And then I have Maximus, and then I have Apollo. Those are my four dogs. My cats, I have Binks, Iris, Aura, Athena, and I have um, my newest cat. He's a little old man. His name was Fatness, but his name is Buddha now. Um, so I have 10, 10 animals. What is your favorite thing about being a mom? I have little tiny humans that I can boss around. No, I'm just kidding. I love being a mom. I think it's so fun. I think it's like I can be a kid. I can act silly with my kids. Um, I mean, you can't not have kids and just walk around singing baby shark my my son my older son he makes me laugh all the time he drives me nuts but he makes me laugh he's so funny my little baby um, Roman he's so cute he smiles so big I just love his smile um, he cries really loud so that's not fun but 
it's fun being a mom. All right, I have two more questions and we are done. Um, what is your most rebellious thing you have ever done? I would say is when I moved to Arizona. Um, I did not want to move. I was leaving my very first boyfriend and to be honest, I was just so angry and so mad. I met my son's dad, my older son's dad, and I broke up with my boyfriend from Las Vegas. And my parents did not want me to be with my son's dad. And I rebelled and I did everything I could to stay with him. I ran away. I started drinking, I started smoking weed, started smoking cigarettes. Um, I just, I was a mess. Like, I was a mess back then. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the most rebellious thing I've ever done is get with my baby daddy. And last question is pineapple on pizza or nah? Not for me. I don't like sweet things mixed with like regular food, if that makes sense. Mm -mm. For me, pineapple on pizza is a no. I don't like it. All right, you guys, those were all the questions that you guys had asked me. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for asking. And I hope this Q&A let you guys get to know me better. Um, if you guys have any more questions, if you guys want to see another Q&A, if any of these questions made you think of other questions, comment below, text me, email me, DM me, ask me anything. I will answer it as honest as possible. And as always, don't forget to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys can get updates on my next videos. Bye. See you later. Tell me right now If I give you what you want What if you worth my while?